name is Matthias, indie game developer and founder of a studio called Sky Goblin. We made a bunch of games throughout the years. In 2018, we made a game called Hellfront Honeymoon, which is a pretty awesome couch multiplayer game. We just wanted to add something that's stupid and a lot of action. We met Matthias and then as we became production ready with Coherence, we, we talked about why not take your game that was single player, but a couch co-op and make it properly uh, online multiplayer. We always imagined that this would be a really cool online multiplayer experience, but having made online multiplayer games previously, I knew it was like a ton of work and we didn't have the resources or the money or the time to, to pull it off. But one of our strengths is we become your multiplayer partners. We handhold you through the whole process and ensure that we have a good support and just leave you to think about the gameplay of the game. One of the reasons to do it as a game developer is to just give the game new life, right? See what kind of potential it can have as a social game. Actually, adding online multiplayer to a offline multiplayer game turns it into another type of game. What we see now is that people are more engaged, people are actually talking in Discord and people are suggesting new ideas. You get to know these people that you didn't know before. Now we talk to them regularly and we hang out and we play games and we shoot them in the face and it's fun. So unsurprisingly, Matthias has won the first round. So I keep dying because I'm playing against the creator of the game. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm pretty awesome. But one of the things that people like the most about working with Coherence is that when you're adding multiplayer, you're not ripping out uh, the existing code and the prefabs and everything, but you're adding coherence to it. So coherence has this ability to work together with the single player code in a way that no other system has. Something that made this really feasible to do is the way that coherence is structured, because it allows me to just drop in coherence components on top of my prefabs instead of replacing my prefabs and all of my code with another framework, which it was not designed for because Hellfront was not designed for coherence, but coherence just rolls with it. That's something that makes the system easier to use for designers, not just coders, right? You can finally have the entire team basically working on the multiplayer parts of the game. They're no longer guarded and, you know, um, uh, just in the domain of the very experienced coders. With Coherence, it's really, really easy to tune all of these values. You can just go in and tune for every prefab or any binding that you want, squeeze the data, change the sample rate of everything, and suddenly you are using just a fraction of the bandwidth, not having any visual degradation at all of the gaming experience. That's actually what we're striving for, is making the best tool to iterate and to get to you know, new, creative, interesting multiplayer games. Isn't experimenting one of the key uh, parts of uh, game development? That was a good segment. Should we go there and play with the water thing again? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was last episode. <laughs> the concept of actually not knowing what kind of multiplayer game you're making at first, playing with your friends, playing with, with everybody and finding out what is the fun in it. That's only possible if you make it cheap to do. Online multiplayer is one of those things that has been out of reach because of the complexity in doing something that's real-time multiplayer and uh, fair to all the players involved. A lot of developers, they're just trying to be successful with that first game, with as low cost as possible. It's too much for them to think about multiplayer. And I think us coming in after the game is out, after the game is proven, makes so much sense. There's such a long you know, back catalogue of single-player games that had medium to, to good success and could use like a revival, basically, in form of multiplayer version. We have kind of like a magic formula for this. One thing that I think is really cool with Coherence is that you can just switch if you want to have dedicated simulators running in the cloud or if you want to simulate the game on the client's machine. We've been working super hard on making all the servers super robust, scalable, to get our customers the you know, low, lowest possible costs. So that means that if Hellfront becomes this huge viral hit, I can switch to dedicated simulators and run everything in the cloud. But also, if it doesn't perform well, I can take the servers down and just run it on the clients. I never have a risk of like bricking the game because, oh, we couldn't pay for the server, so now the game doesn't work anymore. Because you see a lot of these games that just get shut down and they're not playable, even for people who paid for the game. Why am I dying all the time? Don't forget to right-click to move your troops. The what? Move your troops. You, oh, you how do you right-click? <laughs> so many single-player games that would benefit of being 
multiplayer up in some way. In some ways, you also just want to share the experience if you just be there together. I would love to play a game that my dad can play with me. I've never played a computer game with him, and he's a programmer, you know? <laughs> when you say that, it makes me feel old, because I'm the dad. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> this was fair. This was absolutely fair. Yes! Coherence is all about getting more multiplayer games out there. And I actually don't care how. <laughs>